Hi there, this is my second video on Bolt and in this video I'm going to take a look at how to use inputs in Bolt. In the previous video I showed how to set up your Unity project to use Bolt and we made our first graph to move our character. I'm trying to focus the videos to be mainly on Bolt. I went ahead and created a scene that we can start using and the assets that I used are from Kenny, so the Nature Kit asset and the Car asset. If you want to follow along, you can download those assets and set up a scene similar to what I have here. I connected the move macro to the player, the tractor, and set the speed in the Z. So now if I click play, what you'll see is that our player is moving. The camera is also following the player because the camera is a child of the player. So now we're ready to get some inputs and we can search for input nodes. And the one that I'm interested in is in the get axis. And in this node, you can pass in the axis name. You can find Unity's axis names by going to edit and go to project settings. Under Input Manager, you have a list of axes that come with Unity. And the one that I'm going to use is the horizontal axis. The horizontal axis is controlled by left and right arrow keys or A and D. So let's select the axis name horizontal. And now this node should give us an output between negative 1 and 1. So I want to use the speed variable and control the X value using the axis input. And you can do that by multiplying the speed by another vector. So I can use this input to create another vector. So let's search for create vector and we'll choose the top option right here. It's connected to X, which is what we're looking for. And since we want our tractor to still move in the Z direction, we want to set Z to one. Now we can use this vector three and connect it to a multiplier. So we're looking for multiplier vector by vector and we can remove this connection by right clicking on the connection point and connect the speed to the multiplier node instead. Now all is left for us to do is connect this final value back to our add node and that should make our logic for using the input in the horizontal axis to move our tractor in the x axis. So we can go to the variables for the object and specify the speed that we want the tractor to move in the X axis. And I'll set it to 0.15. We can click play and see it work. So as you can see, when I press A or D key, it moves side to side. I think it will look better if I rotate the tractor as well. So let's go to back to our graph and add that ability. So we'll also use the input node and we'll connect to a multiplier. And I'm looking for the generic multiplier. For the B input, I'll connect it to a vector 3 literal. And since we want to rotate it around the Y axis, we'll set the Y axis to 30 and that will limit the rotation to 30 degrees. Now we need to set this value to transform rotation. So let's find set rotation. That's the one we're looking for. And the set rotation is looking for a quaternion, but the output from our multiplier is a vector three. So we'll need to convert it to a quaternion and we can do that by looking for Euler. And right here we have a conversion from Euler to quaternion. And we can create the connection to the set rotation from here. The last step is for us to connect the flow from set position to set rotation so that the set rotation logic would get executed as well. You can click play now and you can see that our tractor rotates as well. We can clean it up a little bit and get it to look a little bit nicer. Also Bolt has an option of creating groups and you can hold control down, click and drag if you want to group the nodes together. So we can call this set position and these four nodes, we can call it set rotation. So there you go. That's one of the ways you can add an input in Bolt. Tell me what you guys think on this video in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.